water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. <laughs> hey, boo, hey, what's popping? This will be your random <clears throat> weekly check-in reading, okay? Um, time is an illusion, of course, but we're going to say it's from the 19th of July into the 26th of July. You guys, I will not, 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 not 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 that's enough knots be taking personal reading okay until the latter half of august going into september okay <clears throat> i'm definitely taking all of my energy and just really putting it redirecting it into my damn self y'all because if i pour out all of my damn love to y'all how much the love am i gonna have for my little self honey now i've been trying to heal and really really Focus on restructuring, also realigning mentally, spiritually, emotionally, okay, physically. And with doing so, y'all, I got to really put me first, okay? Got to practice what you preach on my Barry White type shit in 2020, okay? You guys, um, if you haven't already, please follow me on Instagram at at mocha underscore love underscore tarot. Um, I was going to cheat because with the other, I know everyone doesn't really follow me on Instagram. So what I did was... I put my Instagram readings onto YouTube um, because I know my YouTube family was missing me, y'all. But guess, guess, guess what element decided to give me H E double fucking hockey sticks? Water, okay? And I can't swim, so I wasn't finna try and fight the current because y'all wasn't gonna drown me, okay? So, with all, without further ado, <laughs> I'm going to jump into your water signs reading. Um, it's going to be a quick um, elemental reading, you guys. Um, if you haven't already, go check out the water sign video on Instagram because your element actually got a different video. Okay? No shade to the other elements. I was doing things the way that I was intuitively guided to do them. All right? So, without further ado, excuse my kids if y'all hit them in the back because them and puppy ass is playing hide and go seek or something and they is lit up in there, okay? Alright. Off the rip. Overall, as a whole, water signs, I did get this energy of <laughs> oh, I know. You might not be sure if I know. Oh, but I know. And he who laughs first shall laugh last hopefully i said that shit right but for some of you all you're really 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 sitting back and observing you're being very low-key at this time okay i definitely feel like some of you all are also making secret plans to either make investments also start um, new ideas also go into partnerships i do feel the energy of you guys keeping your love like some of y'all got new love and you're keeping it on the low on the hush hush because you don't want no low vibrational motherfuckers trying to come in and fuck up what you got going on, okay? Good shit, water signs, all right? Cancer, there is this strong focus in standing in your power, standing in your truth. Some of y'all cancers is going to show y'all motherfucking haters where they had you fucked up at by saying less and just showing your ass, okay? There is this... Um, there is this I'm coming out type energy. So some of you guys could definitely be um, open to expressing your sexuality. For some of my cancers, this also has to do with standing up for yourself when it comes to your truth, your authenticity, standing in your authenticity. For some of you all, this also has to do with some type of acceleration when it comes to a platform, okay? For some of you all, cancers, also be, be aware of what you tell people during this time. Some of y'all... Or is that the circle game they used to play? You know how you used to go around a circle and you tell everybody, you tell particular people, like you tell one person something and then they tell another person, they tell another person. Some of y'all are setting somebody up just to kind of see if it's going to come back to you because you already fucking know, okay? But I definitely feel this energy cancer with your haters have no choice but sitting back and watching your ass be great, period, all right? Scorpio, 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 Scorpio. You, Some of you all are not wanting to see any, or accept or embrace the inevitable. Some of you all are dealing with fixed energy, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo. And I definitely feel like you've already let this person know. This person knows your worth. This person knows what it is that you accept. But this person is hoping that your ass don't wake up one day and decide to act on it because it will put their ass in a, in a very tight bun, okay? You all are being called to take the lead in making a major decision which is going to catapult you <laughs> going to catapult you and progress you so far forward that you have no idea your own damn self for some of you all this also have to be some of y'all are dealing with scorpio 
some of you all have someone in your energy who's been very karmic or have some type of karmic ties when it comes to your money flow. And it's because this person is extremely codependent and that's a, that's a lesson from Saturn. That spirit is saying you keep being someone's karmic crutch, okay? Um, when it comes to friendships and relationships, I definitely feel this energy of like water on water. So if you're dealing with another water sign, Scorpio, some of you guys could be questioning in a friendship with a water sign or an, uh, or an air sign or an earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There's this energy around revelations for my Scorpios, okay? Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Acceptance, Pisces. Everybody can't sit at your motherfucking table. Spirit separated you from particular people, places, things, environments, okay? For you to rebuild, restructure, renew, all right? For some of you all, you wanting to do the same shit and Spirit is no longer having it. It's not your place to say these people. They got a mama, Pisces. They got a daddy, honey. And if they don't, Google is fucking free. They can go look it up. But for some of you all, you're allowing people to be distractions in your energy and when it, is, when it comes to what it is that you're building. There was a lot of, again, investment energy. How you invest your time. How you invest your energy. There's a big focus on that. And especially for Pisces. Pisces, some of y'all could even have some type of like, this could even be some type of like scandal or blackmail type situation. So you and Cancer with one another, even Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces as a whole, there was a lot of eighth house like hidden enemy type of vibes amongst the water signs. And I, I slightly picked it up on IG um, day before yesterday. But not like I'm getting it in this collective reading, okay? Some of you all got your eyes on another water sign. And you waiting and hoping that this motherfucker bust a move. Because when they pop, you're going to drown their ass, okay? Alright, so let's get it. Let's see what the angel messages have to say for the water signs. The real messages that you have for my water signs. Wow, this was a loose one. Clear cognizance. Now, this is, it didn't fall out. It was just loose in the deck. Facing this way, you know. Clear cognizance, Archangel Uriel. Pay attention to the thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are answered prayers. Alignment, okay? And the spirit is wanting you to know that you will end up on top, water signs. You will end up on top. And just know that your light, spirit is saying, shine your light in a way that it benefits your purpose. Shine your light in a way that it's beneficial to your growth, okay? So let's get it. Close that door. Close that door. Whoever opened it, close it. Sorry, y'all. I told y'all my kids is turned up. Clean. Okay. Still missing. So you have my water signs. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Still missing. So you have my water signs. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Hmm. Leaders, honey. At the bottom of the deck, we have spread your wings, Archangel Ariel. Do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect and you are ready to soar, okay? For some of you all, this could also be, again, Releasing yourself from people, places, things, environments. For some of you all, you've had people trying to dim your life for quite some time. And intuitively, you already know this. But I feel like for some of you all, you didn't want to be the bad guy when it comes to leaving some type of relationship or leaving someone hanging. But spirit is continuously nudging you. Listen, free yourself. Free yourself from the bullshit. Some of you all are holding on and you are accruing karmic debt on behalf of another person. And spirit is saying the only person that's going to get you out of this cycle is your damn self. For some of you all, this is divine intervention when it comes to love matters. Someone new coming in to assist you with breaking free from that cycle, okay? For some of you all, you could also be finding out this week, um, some of you all could be finding, like for those of you who've been working through this whole quarantine the whole time, some of you all, there could be changes around your job. I'm also hearing furlough. Furlough, some of you guys could have been furloughed. But there's a need for you all not to worry. Spirit wants you to know that when it comes to matters of security, you're going to be just fine. This is forcing your ass to start up that damn new business, that online business. Some of you all are spiritual teachers. You're being... Some of you all are also being shown in your dream space how, like, how to push forward, which way, how to go about going forward when it comes to practical matters but when it also comes to some type of relationship okay i'm also hearing go with the flow go with the flow 
and I'm hearing let it come to you. You guys are being karmically rewarded for the works that you've done in your past and the seeds that you've already laid, okay? There's a need for you all just to be receptive, water signs, and to let things happen and not try to control how and when they happen, okay? What fell out was Archangel Gabriel, leadership. It is time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others. Again, some of you guys are spiritual teachers. For some of you all, this could also have to do with um, you moving to a higher space of, or you ascending to a higher space of how you present yourself with how you present yourself. Some of you all are musicians, musicians, poets. Some of you all are very, very, very intuitive. Some of y'all are psychics. And it's time for you to... Allow yourself, and I am hearing confidence issues. Some of you guys could be having confidence issues within your own damn self. Like some of y'all don't know just how on point that you really are. And Spirit is saying it's time for you not to be your own worst enemy when it comes to dimming your own damn light. This has to do with movement. A lot of sacral energy here, okay? For some of you all also... Some of you all will really benefit, and some of y'all could actually have fire or air in your chart. Some of you all will really benefit from a calcite crystal when it comes to sacred energy because some of you all, what's preventing you from moving forward is not allowing yourself to feel or deal with past traumas in order to allow them to completely shed, my babies, okay? Some of you all, um, some of you all could actually be going into making some type of spiritual jury. Some of you all could be Reiki or like holistic healers. Or maybe you want to present that. Some of you all are our coaches. And maybe you want to offer some type of like um, spell work to assist people in protection. Maybe you want to teach that to other people. But you don't know how you're going to be seen. Spirit is saying you're being called to stand in this space of authenticity. Fuck them people. If they ain't feeding, fucking financing or growing with you. Honey, two tears in a bucket. Fuck it. Fuck them people. Okay. All right. You're being called no longer to dim your light when it comes to stand in a relationship with a motherfucker who you see, the neighbor see, hell, the dog see, that they ain't growing. This is the same motherfucker. Some of y'all, someone wants to come back in your energy, and the reason why you're skeptical about it is because your ancestors is on your ass. No, 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 What a sign, Tank. So what message do you have for my Cancer Pisces? Scorpio? Cancer, some of y'all could be moving away from a uh, from a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like this is a cycle that you've been in for quite some time with this individual. Waiting on them to get their shit together. Some of y'all have, have, have become accustomed or someone in your energy has become accustomed to you giving them the benefit of the doubt. And during this time, spirit is like, no, fuck of that. What are they doing? Okay? Fuck what they said. What are they doing? All right? Believe their actions, water signs. Scorpio, some of y'all is over that Leo shit. Some of y'all gonna be finding out that damn Leo that made a baby possibly with a Pisces, a Taurus, a Libra, Aries person. And this is divine intervention to push you to thrust your ass forward to creating the life that you've been manifesting and trying to bring to you. It's already here. What you gonna do to go get it, okay? Okay, so some of you guys, yeah, some of you guys could have a water sign or an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This could definitely be someone who you have children with. Um, this person wants to reconcile with you. Some of you guys could also be thinking about randomly or sporadically moving. This could also be some type of vehicle purchase, okay? This is not a time to purchase big ticket items. I am here in latter August, September, okay? Yeah, some of y'all... Hmm. Some of y'all is dealing with a very deceptive Capricorn. Some this, There could be some type of truth coming out regarding a, um, a, um, a Capricorn... Or an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? For some of you all, you could also be holding on to some type of truth or holding on to some type of information until you work on completely getting yourself stable or having enough money so that you can move forward and leave somebody behind. Some of y'all could be dealing with another water sign and finding out that this person is still connecting to whoever, they're having, whoever they have a son with, children with, especially if this is a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? Yeah, but you already know this. Some of you all are needing to make a damn judgment when it comes to dealing with a Pisces or a Sagittarius individual, okay? And some of you all are doing this. Some of y'all, this also have to do with some type of um, legalities around surrounding children, custody, all right? For some of you all, someone could be making dry-ass threats to 
Someone likes to see, someone likes to know that you're worked up. Someone likes to know that they got under your damn skin water signs, okay? Some of you all could be dealing with another water sign that drinks too damn much. Or some of y'all could be finding out that someone has some type of addiction to either prescription drugs or some type of like narcotic here. Some of you all are dealing with someone, or this could even be you yourself. Someone in your energy is confused about who they are sexually, what they prefer sexually. Some of y'all are picking up on this during this time, and it has to do with them not acknowledging some type of childhood trauma, my babies, okay? Some of you guys could also get positive news when it comes to collaboration or collaborating with another person. There could also be a Virgo individual that comes in and assists you. Um, this could be a Virgo, an Aries, a Gemini, a Libra. Someone could also be trying to assist you when it comes to the missing piece or something like, I'm, I'm getting like the missing piece of the puzzle or the missing piece of the, whatever the missing piece of the puzzle is when it comes to whether you're starting a business, but I this, this feels positive, like a, like a tool of resource, someone coming in as a tool of resource. Some of you all have been trying your damn best to work, 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 and not make a damn decision regarding a, a, a earth sign or an air sign, but I keep hearing inevitable. It's inevitable, okay? Some of you all are afraid of accepting this damn new love offer because you still ain't got over your damn ex who won't leave you alone. Some of y'all, I keep hearing that Sag ain't shit. Now, y'all know I love Sagittarius. Don't make me do them neck there. But I heard that Sag ain't shit, okay? Others of you, you're dealing with an earth sign and you really need to make this spirit of saying speak up for yourself because some of you all, this person is really, really, really codependent when it comes to financial matters. And whoever this is, they have the audacity to be arrogant and materialistic, but they fucking broke, okay? Somebody needs to fucking tune it down a notch when it comes to that fucking ego because their pockets don't fucking match, all right? Yeah, some of you guys could definitely be leaving alone an earth sign, and you're going to be victorious in doing this. Didn't I tell you some of y'all are dealing with a situation where someone is a karmic... Like someone is a financial karmic crutch to like well you 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 you've been a karmic crush to someone who is financially burdened burdensome to you. Spirit is saying every time this person comes back into your life, they come back with very little to offer. They come back when they fucked up. They know you when they fucked up. Spirit is saying put some respect on your own damn name and finally be done with this fucking cycle because in doing so, this is why you couldn't start that business this is why timing wasn't aligning with with you and agreeing with you because this motherfucker couldn't be here okay but some of you all the focus is fulfillment love but first you must get them damn get that damn monkey off your back honey get them snakes from around you okay because i definitely feel this energy of fixed energy aquarius taurus leo scorpio for some of you all someone's comfortable with you carrying all the weight and spirit is saying no more no more. Yes. Yeah. For those of you who are dealing with those, some of y'all are walking away from a soulmate. Like some of you guys could have actually broken up with someone uh, anywhere between the last two weeks, two months ago. But now you're emotionally able to shed that skin and able to move forward. And spirit is bestowing upon you blessings, honey. Blessings, honey. But you had to walk in this. Be, be, be one. Be one. And in this space of acceptance, with being willing to let this go. Okay. But some of you all, yeah, some of y'all got an earth sign. I heard Virgo and Capricorn. Some of y'all got an earth sign that's holding on to you for dear life. This person has a major codependency issue when it comes to drinking. Some of you all could also be finding out that you're pregnant. Congratulations, no love the kids, honey. Some of you all are definitely coming in with these star seed babies. Yeah, others of you are finally, yeah, if you're if you're being let go or... You're being told that a job is getting ready to end. It's a blessing in disguise because some of y'all was waiting for the right time. The right time snuck up on your ass four months ago. And you was like, "Now nah, I'm going to wait till next week. I'm going to wait next month. I'm going to wait for this. The Spirit is saying, no, it's a blessing in disguise. I definitely feel like you guys, some of you guys were being held up. When it comes to the way that you make money, some of you guys were being held up by a job that just wasn't going to match your work my babies and spirit is saying put your damn defenses down you will be just fine when it comes to stability matters some of y'all definitely got a damn air sign watching you this could be someone who is tied to if you're dealing with a 
um, cardinal sign, Capricorn, Libra, Aries, Cancer. Some of y'all definitely have a third party that is watching you, waiting for you to... If somebody's waiting to come and ruin your relationship, they just want to know when the best time to do it is. Some of you all could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like you're trying to go with the flow of this person, but for some of you all, you feel like this person is very defensive. Spirit is saying, speak up, tell their ass, okay? Some of you guys could also be finding out, finding out, um, some of y'all find out that someone has been manipulating their child's mother, someone who they have a child with, an earth sign, someone who, have, who they have a child with so, this, this, so that this person doesn't put them on child support. Somebody was trying, somebody say, it's cheaper to keep her, honey. Somebody thought that they was fucking slick. And you guys are finding out and, and deciding, hey, you ain't got to worry about it. Choose them. I'm out the fucking building, okay? For others of you, if you're waiting on some type of legalities to clear when it comes to dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or the mother of your children, or the father of your children, I definitely feel that things will be settled. There will be some type of compromise that is forced to be had. If someone is threatening you that they're going to take your fucking kids, listen, honey. Then people is not going to take your... This person has no intent on taking your kids. Someone's trying to use the children to keep another person from moving forward. And, and, and Spirit had other fucking plans, honey. Look, Spirit Spirit got other fucking plans, honey. Can't nobody block this harvest. Stand in your truth, okay? You ain't going to lose a damn thing, all right? All right, so let me give a closing message for my water signs. Closing message for my water signs. Close the message for my water signs. Close the message for my water signs. Close the message for my water signs. Patience, Archangel Hafael. Your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still, they need nurture, nurturing and patience. Some of you all could also be going into um, into some type of like botany practices. Could also be herb herbal care. Some of you guys could also be getting into cosmetics, skin care, doing tutorials of such or need to, okay? This could also be some type of, some of y'all could also be transitioning or been thinking about going vegan and I definitely see you guys making that change by August, okay? At the bottom of the deck, lastly, we got remember who you, remember who the fuck you are, Archangel Michael. You are a powerful, loving, and creative child of God. You are very loved. Put some respect on your own name, water signs. Turn this fucking sword upside down and speak your truth. Say what the hell you got to say. You see this torch in your hand? You already won, baby. You're being illumined of what it is that you need to say, see, as well as spill. Worry not about the motherfucking pests and the peasants, honey. Trust me, while you, why you wait, while you, why you continuously vibing to get up here... You can't even hear their ass from down there. So continue to keep that same energy. But also you put that respect on your own damn name. And not let these people come in your energy and get comfortable. And just do the same fucking shit that made you put their ass out your energy in the first place. Set, Be very clear. Crystal clear about your intentions. And focus on what it is that you desire with unwavering faith, honey. And you shall persevere. Alright? So y'all let me know how this resonates, honey. Let me know. And I love you long time. Mm. Bye, my babies.